Hey everybody, little Shelby is here to help us talk about how to entertain ourselves during quarantine. I and Allie and I both have been longtime PC gamers, and before that, as kids, we played on different consoles. Um, so gaming's been a big part of our lives. And when I got into middle school and high school, uh, I ended up kind of getting into a lot of board games, like those bookcase games. I'll never forget there was a game that had like a 31-page rule book and all that kind of stuff. Well, now that we're adults and we work, uh, we don't have time for, for anything too complex, but I'm still into PC gaming. Uh, Allie will game, and also there's some TV shows we'll watch together as well we got into, uh, but always on YouTube. We're big. We just watch YouTube and stream it. Uh, in rare cases, will we stream from other services? So, um, Allie, what, what, what has been entertaining you lately? So, lately I have been playing um, a game that's called Planet Coaster. Which is um, like you build your own theme park. So I've been building my own theme park, basically, you know, like making my own Disney World. So since I miss it so much, so I'm playing that a lot. I'm playing a lot of Seven Days to Die, which is a mix up of uh, like Minecraft and, and a zombie survival game. Um, I have a friend named Forsaken who runs a server that is like amazing, and it just gives me life. So I've been playing that. And the other thing I've been watching um, is a lot of clips of clips of TV shows that pop up on my YouTube feed. So like Phil will hear me hilariously laughing at something in the other room, and it's like a little clip from Community, which was the greatest TV show of all time. I don't care what anybody says. And the, you know, six seasons of the movie. I'm still waiting for the movie, but I think that it might happen. But it's so hilarious because you're just seeing really the best parts of, of the show, and it pops up like all the time based on, on what I'm watching. So I've been watching that. But the shows that we watch together, we watch um, actually a show on Amazon Video that's called Making the Cut, which is very much like Project Runway where it's designers, um, but it's way better because as soon as the show airs, the clothes are available to buy on Am Amazon um, Making the Cut shop. So that's really cool. I haven't bought anything. I, I was close to buying a shirt. But I haven't bought anything yet, but they do sell out quick. But they're all very reasonable, like $60, $40, very, they they make it mass market. So we, we finished watched out, that show. We finished Picard. Oh That's yeah, we done. finished Picard. But that was amazing. How many more seasons are, are we expecting? Are they Well, they've greenlit two, uh, two more seasons, cool. so two and three, but, you know, who knows when that's going to That's a happen. great one. I have continued watching Westworld, but Allie has nixed it. Yeah, I just, I just don't care about those people. I don't care about any of them, so I'm just not spending my time watching it. I went through two seasons. I watched them all. I feel like I've made enough of a commitment to the show. I'm just not into it. Maybe maybe I just don't like the setting now, but I don't know. I'm just not into it, so I'm not watching it. Life's too short. What games are you playing? So on the gaming side, uh, probably an all-time favorite is Rocket League. So these are rocket-powered race cars that play soccer in a Logi environment. You do these 3v3 three 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 matches. Um, other than that, a new game called Mountain Blade Bannerlord that everybody's been waiting to release for like 12 years or something. That came out fabulous uh, for some single player action. Yeah, it he's r literally been waiting, I think, seven years for this game. And I was really happy because it lived up to every expectation that he had. Yep, that's a good one. Uh, the other one my buddies and I have been playing a lot is Hunt Showdown. And this is mm -hmm. like a Wild West zombie apocalypse battleground game highly recommend too you can find all these games on steam if you're a pc gamer uh some of them are also console compatible like uh, rocket league actually i play against console players one of the few games that pc and console mix um so that's kind of what i've been into and, and doing do, do the console actually compete or so um in Rocket League, yes, because even I use an Xbox Elite controller on a PC. So I'm using the same type of um, controller that a, a, a console would use. I find that sports games like Rocket League mm -hmm. work well on console um, and work well on PC with a controller. If you're talking shooter games with like a keyboard and mouse, it just doesn't work. I noticed there was a game that came out for PC and console and the players actually mixed. And what I learned about is that the console players can turn on basically aimbot, or they call it aim assist, because they just don't have the precision with a controller like you would with a mouse. And so essentially it was giving them a lot of headshots and made it harder for PC players because basically it's cheating. 
So uh, anyway, that's the you know where it's at gaming wise. So um, yeah, that's anyway, that's what me we've busy. been up to, and of course, always the pets. They're keeping us entertained. Absolutely too cute. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next time, and stay safe and stay isolated.